Hey everyone, it's Billy here from Daily Puzzles. Today we got an unboxing of the brand new GAN RS. Now this was just released from GAN and at the time of filming this video, it's now available on our website. Um, and yeah, we're gonna do an unboxing and do some first turns and take a look. Okay, first off we have a CFOP pamphlet. It's always good. Okay, and we have the cube and... That's interesting. There's actually some foam in the box. Don't think I've actually seen foam ever in a GAM box. But that's about it. Um, no tensioning tool. Um, that's a little bit of a shame. I'm not too sure how this tensions. Uh, but hopefully you can do it by hand. Packaging is a bit smaller than the GAN uh, R, the original version. Okay, the shades look uh, matte now. No longer looks glossy, so... They're taking after the uh, GAN XS, which is cool. Uh, it feels pretty solid. Um, it sort of actually feels like a GAN XS, but a heavier version. So I'm not too sure what the turning's like. Um, all I know about this puzzle is it is GAN's uh, budget 3x3, the latest version. And the shades are matte, so let's do some first turns. Okay, right out of the box, um, not what I was expecting. The turning is actually quite bumpy. For a second, when I um, first started turning, I actually thought it was magnetic. Uh, I'm not sure how well that translates on camera, but there definitely is some bumps in it. The puzzle, since it is um, non-magnetic, uh, mo non-magnetic, excuse me, does feel a little bit unstable, but not experiencing any catches, which is good. Let's just do a scramble. This feel very fluent though, but uh, the speed definitely could be faster. There's no catches, which is awesome. Definitely does feel like a GAN puzzle, but actually quite bumpy, which is a little bit surprising. But if I had to guess those bumps will go away over time. Um, the tensions are pretty good. Now, since I've seen a lot of people roasting me in the comments, um, I have made an attempt to relearn F2L, but I'm doing this through a viewfinder. So I'm not going to be very good, so please bear with me. But um, some encouraging words in the comments would be nice. But I'm going to try to solve this with F2L. Uh, I'm really slow, but let's do this. Okay, first impressions. Definitely feels like a GAN puzzle. Definitely feels like an upgrade over the GAN R. But when you do get used to the top of the line GAN puzzles, um, or really any top of the line 303 in the market right now, you definitely do um, notice the difference. This is not one of the best cubes available right now. Um, but I wonder what it would be like if it was magnetized. I'm actually very interested in doing a video on that. Let me know if that's something you guys want to see. Comparing a magnetic GAN RS with the XS would be very interesting, I think. Let's test some corner cutting. So a little bit over halfway. And reverse. Reverse is pretty good too. You can. I'm not sure how well it picks up on camera, but you can sort of see um, not having magnets definitely does um, mean the puzzle doesn't hold together quite as well. Uh, the layers do misalign slightly, but again, no luck ups, which is surprisingly good considering the amount this puzzle um, is misaligning a bit. Okay, let's uh, undo this and take a look at the inner pieces now. 
Okay guys, before we look at the pieces, I've just taken apart the puzzle and there actually is a new GS9 in here. I actually wasn't expecting that, which is why I was a little bit bummed out that there was no tensioning tool. Um, the printing is very, very tiny on this, so it's actually quite difficult for me to make out what's written there. But I believe what is written there is a 1 uh, for one of the settings and there's a 0.8 and there's a 0.6. So that's just referring to the travel distance um, that you can set with the tensions. So there is actually a tensioning system on this. You get three different levels, you get 1. 0.8 and 0.6 um, this was a little bit tricky to um, get off but um, definitely not impossible I want you to know it's not gonna be that hard but I thought that was worth noting there is a new GES system in this cube okay now we have an edge piece and a corner piece um, we don't actually have the GAN R in stock anymore because GAN is no longer producing that since they're only producing the RS um, so I actually can't compare the internal pieces to the old version but what I can say is it's clear that they've um, got a lot of honeycomb on the outside. They do look similar to the XS. Damn, I wish I brought one with me. Um, but they do look similar. But this side's completely flat. Oh, is that some vague? Okay, there's nothing on that side. And there's a little bit of honeycomb on top of the edge. And then the corner has honeycombs all around. And yeah, there's some primary internals in there too. It looks like a two-piece two design with the cap on it. Okay, just before I put the cube back together, guys, I just want to show you quickly how the new uh, system works on the GAN RS. Essentially, you have the nut. Um, you put it on, and there's three settings. It's going to be a little bit hard to show them properly on camera. Let me just get this on. So you push it down, and then you rotate it. And then, see, that's the first setting. And you have the second, I believe. And then that should be the third. So I'm not sure how easy that is to see on camera, but that is how the new GES nut works. I believe the Yan R um, just had the tensioning tool. Um, correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong, but that's what I believe I do remember. So guys, that's going to be the end of this unboxing and first impressions video. To summarize my thoughts on this cube, uh, it's a fantastic cube for the price, but it does not compete, at least in the non-magnetic stage and uh, right out of the box with the XS or any top of the line flagships. But I think it would be extremely interesting to see this cube um, magnetized uh, with just like a DIY magnetic kit because the performance definitely is still really good out of the box, especially if you're considering the price tag. So if that's something you guys want to see, let us know. We'll magnetize one of these and we'll compare it against the XS or some other flagships that are out right now, like the Volk Elite. Once again, guys, this cube is now available on our website. The link is in the description. Uh, be sure to pick one up if you're interested. Thanks again for watching guys, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.